In this video, I'll walk you through how to use the newest feature of our crossword puzzle tool. I'm super excited about this update. If you're creating puzzles for kids, you are going to love this new feature. Let's get started. Our newest feature is the addition of a kids mode. When you select kids mode, there'll be three differences in the puzzles. The down clues will now use letters instead of numbers. The letters and numbers will appear outside the squares in the puzzle instead of inside of them. And the first letter of each word will be shown in your puzzle. Let's head over to the crossword tool to see this new feature in action. To activate kids mode, you go to puzzle settings and click kids mode. That will give you the option to set the font for the hint letters and the font size for your hint letters. All right, now let's create some puzzles. Let's do four puzzles. I'm going to copy and paste my clues and my answers. So I have four puzzles with 20 clues each. So I got four puzzles, 20 clues. And let's just hit the refresh button. And here's what your puzzle looks like. We now have all the down clues have letters instead of numbers. And now you have the letters and the numbers in little circles outside of your squares. In the first letter of each word, shows up here as hint letters. Now your answer pages will also look the same. This is kind of close here. So what we can do is go over here and space between title and answer. We can increase this number, do a refresh. And now it's up higher. So I like that much better. And we also now added the ability to download the preview. And what that does is it will download the exact puzzle that you're seeing when you look at the preview. So it's gonna have the puzzle and it's gonna have the answer page. So it's gonna have exactly what is in this window and this window. One of the things that we added while we were doing this update was the ability to have rounded squares instead of square squares. So if you go here, you click rounded squares under color and square settings, and you click that button. And now that will give you rounded squares instead of the square squares. And it will look the same way on your answer pages. In addition to being able to round the corners, you can also set this, the color for your puzzle squares your line color, your title color, your clues color, the numbers color, the answers color, the circles color, and your hint letters color. So let's demonstrate some of that. I'm just gonna pick some colors at random just to demonstrate this. So your square color, you probably want it to be something light. Line color, maybe something a little darker. Title color, whatever you want. Clues color, let's do something different numbers, answers, circles around your numbers, let's see if that's what they might, and your hint letters. Okay, now let's do a refresh and we'll show you how all that looks. So if you're going to actually use colors, you kind of want to go and find complementary colors in a color palette so that it looks good. This looks a little crazy, but this is just to demonstrate it. So you see the title color is this purple. The inside of your squares is this puzzle color. The lines around your square are this puzzle line color. The clues down here are this clues color. The numbers are these here inside of the circles. Your answer color is this yellow. And the circle number color is this green around here, and the hint letter colors is this pink. And this is something you can use on regular crosswords, not just kids mode, and the rounded squares you can use on any crossword as well, not just kids mode. And 
As always, if you want to download your PDF, once you get everything the way you want, you just click download PDF and you get all of your puzzles along with all of your answers. So if you have any questions about how to use this tool, you can ask them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Your journey to crafting journals, planners, logbooks, and more starts here. Get going now with a free three-day trial at abookcreator.com.